The revolutionary new sequel, AI2, by Paradise Decay is coming 2023. Sweet! Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. This is probably going to be my last video in VR until I get the PlayStation VR 2. The reason is, I'm having my final operation on my left eye in two days. I'm not going to be able to do any VR for a few weeks. So we're going to go out with a bit of a bang. Currently on Steam, one of the hottest games, it's just been released, it's called Hi-Fi Rush. In this video I'm going to show you how to play this game in 3D in a VR headset. It looks absolutely amazing, the gameplay is fantastic, it's like a rhythm beat em up game. So you run around the levels in time to the music, you beat up the bad guys in time to the music. The 3D is amazing, I'm going to show you how to get the 3D working. You will need a VR headset, this will work on a Quest 2, a Pico 4, a Rift S even the Vive Index. You will need a copy of Virtual Desktop to get the 3D to work. You can watch this video in 3D in a VR headset with any program that supports side-by-side -side stereoscopic images. So applications like Virtual Desktop Big Screen, you can watch this gameplay in 3D. The first thing you need to do is install the game and run it at least once. You need certain files and folders for Reshade to work. Then you're going to go to the Reshade website, hit download and you need the latest file, version 5.6.0, download it, store it on your PC. Once you've downloaded Reshade you're going to run the program and we're looking for the game. Reshade is now going to scan your PC for all your games and we're looking for the game in here, Hi-Fi Rush. So scroll down to H, if you can't find the game then use browse to search your Steam library. We found two .exe files for the game, so which one are we going to use? Normally you go for the one where it says binaries, Windows 64. If you try to install Reshade with the bottom one it's not going to work, so you need to choose the top one. And again you're looking for binaries Windows 64. Click on next. Reshade has determined that the game is DirectX 10, 11 or 12. Click on next. Click on next again. Now we need to uncheck everything. And we want to select Depth 3D by Blue Sky Defender. This is going to download the shaders to allow you to play the game in 3D. Click on next. And you can see the shade is being downloaded here. Again we're going to uncheck everything. Now we need to check SuperDet3D underscore VR. Click on that, click on next, click on finish, that's it, job done. Now when we run the game, if it's worked we'll see a reshade menu at the top of the screen. So we're going to jump in, run the game. I'm going to be recording my desktop which is going to be in stereo side by side so that you can watch the gameplay in 3D in a VR headset. The game's running and I can see the reshared menu at the top there. So you need to hold down the home key to bring up the uh, reshared menu. You're going to click on continue. Continue. In this menu here you're going to select Super Depth 3D underscore VR again and then you're going to click on continue. Now when I hit this button here look can you see the uh, did you see the screen change into a double image? That double image is what we're going to use to get the 3D in the headset. Click on continue 
The first thing you need to do is to set your IPD in reshade. My IPD is 64, so I'll set this to 64. Now you're going to scroll down and I'm going to show you physically the 3D working. You need to make sure this is on DM1 reversed. When you first start reshade, this is probably going to be on DM0, which is normal. There's no 3D with this mode. If I click on depth map, there's no 3D. Make sure you select DM1 reversed. Now when I hit the depth map, you'll see the 3D. So this grey represents the 3D. The darker the grey, the closer the 3D is to your eye. The lighter the grey, the further away it is in the distance. With reshade you can set the strength of the 3D, so you can either have it really shallow 3D or lots of 3D. When you first start reshade this is going to ride down to something like 15. As you can see on the screen look, there's not so much 3D now, it's more shallow 3D. If I increase the depth map adjustment, I am now adding more 3D to the game and you'll see it get darker and darker as it adds more and more 3D. I've been playing the game on uh, 100. This will go up to 250. 100 feels about perfect for me. Now I'm going to uh, uncheck the depth map view and now when I hit the home key you will see the stereoscopic image the left side for the left eye, the right side for the right eye. That is now in 3D. To play this in 3D I need a program. I'm going to use Virtual Desktop. I'm going to Alt Tab to my desktop. Go to Steam. And we're going to run Virtual Desktop. This is going to beat up your headset into VR. Now that Virtual Desktop is running we need to make sure we select half side by side, that's basically the, the left and the right image. So that's going to allow me to see that image in 3D in the headset. Now the way that Virtual Desktop works, it's like a giant 3D cinema screen, it's huge. It's the same size as the cinema screen you see when you go to watch a film at the IMAX theatre. So imagine a big screen in front of you in 3D. Now using the F2 and F3 keys you can move the screen closer or further away from your eyes. Basically you can wrap the screen around you and it feels like you're inside the game. If I look to the left and right with a big 3D screen I still feel like I'm inside the game. If I look behind me there's nothing there, it doesn't work. So this is not like a full VR experience and I'm going to be playing the game with an Xbox controller, it works perfectly with the controller and like I said it's a bit like a rhythm beat em up game. Also my screen is so big I can't see the top and the bottom. This looks amazing though guys, the best way to describe it is if you've been to see the latest Avatar movie in 3D, imagine playing this game looking like that. And the beauty of Virtual Desktop is you can bring that screen as close as possible or as far away as possible. Ok I'm going to jump into the game, I'm going to skip all the cutscenes, we're going to get straight into the game. There's lots of dialogue in this game. I'm going to remove myself from the video so you get a really nice 3D image to watch. Ok I can see the game's in 3D guys, it looks amazing. Options, let me show you my options. Graphics, I'm running the game on 4K. I'm going to turn vertical sync off. Camera shake I've turned off. All my graphics on high. We've got NVIDIA DLSS on and I've set the uh, mode to quality. I've turned the latency off. I've not changed anything else. So let's jump into a, a brand new game. Like I said I'm going to skip all the cutscenes, I'm going to start a brand new game. I've only played the game for about 30 seconds guys, just to make sure that the 3D is working. It looks amazing. 
super sharp, super clear. New game. I'm going to play on easy mode because I'm in VR. If you see my head now, look, that's the edge of the screen there on the left, and that's the edge of the screen on the right. The bottom of the screen is down here, and the top of the screen is there. Okay, let me skip all these. Some of the cutscenes are in 2D, and uh, some of the cutscenes are in 3D. This is in 3D. Okay, so we're in the game. This looks absolutely amazing. And this game's getting some rave reviews at the moment. The whole world is moving in time to the beat. I'm tapping my foot. Even my health meter is tapping away. So we're just going to go through the uh, tutorial. I've not played the game yet, guys, so this is all new for me. There's a robot there. Oh man, that surgery trained me out. Consume energy drinks to restore health. Ah, that hit the spot. I'm moving the controller with my uh, right thumbstick, and I'm moving my uh, character with the uh, left thumbstick. And you've got all the moves you normally get with the with the gamepad. Look at what you have done. Surely we will face consequences. It has been a privilege working with all of you. Okay, double jump. Please collect your belongings. Yeah, time to get out of these clothes. The 3D really, really pops. Oh, jeez. Wow. Ooh. Hey. All right, kid. Robotic arm, Alex does 75. Magnetic waste management fixture. Wait, magnetic waste management? Foreign object warning. Looks like a defect. Take him in. Uh, Is that a weapon? Uh, I don't think so. I think he's resisting. Wait, what? This is like being inside a 3D anime. It's superb, guys. It really is. That looked amazing with all the parts coming towards me. Okay, so now we're going to fight in time to the music. Press X. Wow, this looks incredible, guys. People are raving about this game. They can only imagine what, on? what this is like in 3D. <sighs> For all you VR purists out there who keep claiming this is not proper VR, then you're really missing out. If I'm getting this right... First, music player in my chest. Pretty sure that's not supposed to be there. Second, it's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And this sounds ridiculous. But when the music kicks in, 
It feels like... like... like I'm on a stage. Why would you not want to experience this overwhelmingly positive game in this mode? This is mind blowing. All right, everyone, ready for something wild? Whoa, Chai's here, and his attacks sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack, a one beat attack that quickly connects combos. Go ahead, try it out. If only you could see me now tapping my head in time to the beat. timing feels like so we're having to press the buttons in time to the music one two three four look at you perfect timing on that one. Oh yeah your attacks always land on the beat but press the attack button exactly on the beat to give bonuses in battle looks like you're ready for more head on over I can't express just how amazing this looks. How about delivering some real damage? The heavy attack. This one takes two beats to land, so listen carefully for the beat in the middle. I got this. Heavy attack? Why? One, two, three, four, why? All right. Now try out a heavy combo in rhythm. This is the kind of timing to aim for. Okay, so we do why, why, why? Sure, sure. Not bad for a rookie. And the crowd goes wild. Chai, 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 chai. The death map for me at 100 is perfect, guys. This 3D is perfect. Is this the guy? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh. Anyone see the guy that did this? That's the defect! What? No, 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 no! I, I was just... Well, here we go. Okay, so now we've got two attacks. One, two, three, four. And then we do the Y one. One. Two, three. Nice. And again. Oh, those effects. So good in 3D, guys. I know I keep gushing on about the 3D, but it really is that good. So the world is actually moving in time to the beat as well. My controller is even vibrating in time to the beat. Okay, let's go. Hello, pigeons. Elf. Hint robot. Press B. Uh, what are you? 
Bandelay Smart Fridge VASF07, but commonly known as Smidge. Not very catchy, but I can analyze your well-being and guide you to satisfaction. Let me indulge. Hey, no indulging. You seem to have musical robot powers. Would you like me to explain your malfunctioning abilities? So it seems your problem may be attacking enemies to the beat. I wouldn't say it's a problem. Attacking enemies on the beat does more damage, so I sense it is beneficial for you to do so. For some people, the beat is hard to find, like inner peace. But here are some tips. Your attacks always land on the beat. Okay, a smart fridge, but can it play Skyrim? If you need help, don't hesitate to chat. Okay. Do not enter, let's enter. Collect gear to upgrade Chai's abilities on purchase items. That's a long way down. Made it. Hello, boys. Is the defect looks suspicious. Could be. Hey, you looking for me? That cat was in my face. Okay, right trigger to dodge. Double jump. We're learning new mechanics all the time. Some goodies around the back. This is like a cartoon version of Cyberpunk. I was watching you down there. You seem very good at dodging. Oh, yeah, I, I think I can do that. Analyzing your personal data, and I can see that your dodge is very versatile. Apparently dodging with a beat enables up to a triple dodge, and even pulling items from far away. Dodging in the air is not only useful in fights, but also for getting to hard to reach places. But I know what you're thinking. Light and heavy attacks can be chained right after a dodge. I actually wasn't thinking about that. Of course you were. 
But make sure to press the attack button right after a dot. So how about it? Try it out on me. Okay, well, sorry in advance. Your hits only fill me with joy. Okay, so let's do a light attack. Hooray! But there's still one more move up your sleeve. Heavy attack, okay. Fantastic. Now here is a refreshing beverage. I hope I was useful. Thank you for the, uh, the health. said you'd help out <sighs> maybe this wasn't such a good idea good you made it down here all right so i'll keep this quick talking furry uh i saw you fight back there i think we might be able to help each other i, I thought security's all over you which i could help you with stop okay whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that was you back there you're a cat no this is 808 she is a cat but i built her look like I was saying, you know, I thought my music robot arm power was crazy, but this is, um, probably better off by myself. Dude, listen, Vandalay's up to something, and I said I can help. Thanks, but I'm good. Oh. Host synchronized. We are at one with a furry. It's not responding. What did you do? Oh, hold on, did you just feel that? That beat? I think we got something here. Look who's back. Andy's got a friend. Thanks to 808, Chai's got a new skill up his sleeve. A beat hit. It's a timing based bonus attack at the end of a combo. On the last hit, watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it. Press X or Y when the two circles overlap. Talk is cheap. Let's try it out. Okay. Ooh, let's try that one again. I missed it. So I need to hit the X button again on time to the... We got this. There we go. Going pro. To land a beat hit, listen to the countdown or look for the two circles overlapping to nail perfect timing. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. Okay. One, two... Three. There we go. This nice. Is awesome. Beat hits are key for doing strong combos and damage. So don't forget to feel that beat. That feels feel so beat. satisfying. I think we got something going on here. Hey, so offer reconsidered, but I'm gonna borrow your cat for a little bit. What? Why? Hey, you wanted to help, right? And don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. <sighs> you better not run off with her. Some health in here. Danger. What's that? Extra life. You really can't read into my innermost thoughts. Correctly activating the beat hit seems to unleash enormous power. The musically inclined may be able to just hear the countdown and attack accordingly. Enormous power you shall have. 
But a more visual solution is to wait until timing circles overlap. If you are still having trouble, you can tap the attack button every beat before the attack and still land it as well. You'll want to use this one, so I'll be your practice buddy. How about a light combo first? I know you know this one. And now let's try that heavy combo again. I want to see you shine. Okay. Such energy. It gives me tingles. Please enjoy a cool and calming beverage. I'll be here if you want to practice more. More health. I also like the fact that we can roam the world as well. Okay, this is a combo here. So it's one, two, 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 three, two. I missed it. Try again. One, two, 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 three, and boom. Yes, perfection. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Here we go. Wow, I'm super powerful. You ready for more? Boom! Look at the monorail. Well, that looks like all of them. Maybe things aren't so bad after all. Okay. Remind me to ask you later how you did all that. Like I know. Anyway, your turn. I need to get out of wherever I am. You're in production, and the only direct exit is through quality assurance. You see it? So many buildings. It's hard to tell. It's the one that literally says QA Center on it. Oh, yeah, that one. But with that way out, they're probably expecting you, so... You had me at way out. Let's go. Being cocky isn't going to get you out of here. Uh, the best solution is the most obvious. That's wrong, and terrible advice. You're wanted. We need to outsmart them. Well, then I'll fight my way out. Are you an idiot? That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. I'm telling you, that was Kale in the flesh. You don't even have flesh. You wouldn't know. Actually being in production, does that count that I met him? No, it doesn't. So get over it and let's fix this staircase. Look at that view. Stunning. And you can hear the uh, the music changing when I hit the button lock. So when I hit the uh, the button now, listen for the uh, gang going, yeah, Whoa. ready, and one, two, now. Hey.
Nice. Reminder, to compensate for added Project Armstrong flow, a new day of the week is added. Please note on this additional day of the week, working is mandatory. This is one of those games I'm going to uh, complete, I think, in VR, in Reshade, because it's so good. That's not good. being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay likes to show off. But I'm looking for what they're hiding. Oh, you like digging up secrets. How about telling me your name? If it took you this long to ask, you can wait a bit longer. I'm Chai, by the way. Chai? All right, then. This is pretty cool, guys. It reminds me of a uh, pixel ripped. You know how good the 3D is in Pixel Ripped. Imagine that. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. This has been absolutely amazing. I love this game. I love playing this game in 3D. The 3D is super sharp, super clear. It really pops. It feels like someone's made an anime and gave you the ability to actually be inside that anime. If you like Reshade, Super Depth 3D, this is a no brainer. I know lots of you are going to love this game. This is probably going to be one of your game of the year games for 2023. I am planning to make some videos some YouTube shorts and TikToks based on some old content during the next few weeks while I recover from my next eye operation. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.